Archaeology has answered a lot of the mysteries of our past, but while it has shed some light on what our history looked like, it also unraveled a lot of unanswered questions. Many of the archaeological structures around the world are shrouded in mystery, and their story is mostly unknown. Let's uncover the secrets of some of the most puzzling archaeological structures on the planet. From the mystery of the Chinese Emperor's Mausoleum to the Shell Grotto, nobody knows who built these structures. Number 15. Mystery of the Chinese Emperor's Mausoleum In the tombs of ancient Egypt, it's quite common to see statues created after the likeness of a person besides the pharaoh's tomb. This is supposed to represent his servant who would serve him in the afterlife. As it turns out, this was also practiced in ancient China, but instead of just servants, soldiers were also a necessity in the afterlife. This is the tomb of Qin Shi Huangdi, China's very first emperor. He's the ruler who unified the fragmented clans of the country in 221 BCE, and he ordered the construction of numerous public infrastructures, including the legendary Great Wall of China. He was such a prolific emperor that he planned his greatest achievement on his deathbed. The first emperor achieved a lot of things in his lifetime, but he's most remembered for his magnificent mausoleum. Located in Linton District in the Shanxi province of China is a place created after the emperor's death. The most intriguing feature of the tomb are the terracotta warriors. Thousands of them. It seems like the emperor ordered the creation of horse statues and lifelike figures to serve and protect him even in death. Seeing this vast collection is definitely impressive. To this day, people are still amazed at how the artist created 8,000 lifelike troops made out of clay. Not only that, but the statues are so well made that it looks as if they're people and horses frozen in time. Each soldier is entirely custom, with no two looking alike. Truly individuals. But the most intriguing part is that we've only excavated about 1% of the entire complex, and the first emperor's burial chamber is still unopened to this day. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. The oldest known solar observatory in Germany. In 1991, several people flew over the small town of Gosek in Germany when they noticed something unusual. After observing the entire area from the sky, they noticed that there seemed to be a giant circular ridge beneath a field of wheat. It was then that people first noticed the Gosek Circle but it took several more years until it was fully discovered. Many believe that the entire circle had been used by different people across different periods from around 4900 BC until 4700 BC. It's believed that the Gosek Circle was first used by prehistoric people for religious rituals and to help them observe the movement of the skies. After that, the circle was used by Neolithic farmers as an earthen calendar. Several artifacts and remains have been discovered in the area, including human bones with cut marks on them, as well as a 3,600-year-old bronze disc. Today, wooden poles have been erected following the shape of the Gosek Circle, and through it, people can observe celestial movement. On the winter solstice, the sunrise aligns with the southeast gate and sets behind the southwest gate. But once the summer solstice comes, the sun shines through gaps in the fence. It's astounding to think about how people thousands of years ago managed to build a gigantic structure. Number 13. The Evidence of Noah's Ark Mount Ararat is a dormant volcano located in the extreme east of Turkey. Aside from its geological significance, Mount Ararat is also known to be the place where Noah's Ark rests. It was said that more than 6,000 years ago, God commanded Noah to build a massive ship and gather a pair of each animal on earth to save. The ark was a staggering 510 feet long, about 85 feet wide, and 50 feet high. Upon its completion, God sent down heavy rain, causing every living thing to die, except the animals on the ark and Noah's family. God saw how corrupted the earth was and decided that he needed everything to start anew. To do so, he destroyed all land-dwelling and air-breathing animals on earth. He chose the righteous Noah and his family from the culling, seeing them as a hope in mankind. While a lot of people think that Noah's Ark is just merely a story in the Bible, Christian explorers claim that they have finally found proof that the Ark really did exist. It was said that the Ark was found hidden beneath the snow on Mount Ararat in Turkey. When a team of researchers tried to determine whether these claims are true, they found a mix of answers. First of all, the researchers did discover the remains of what looks to be a wooden structure on the mountain. However, radiocarbon dating data showed that the wood they found was merely about 4,800 years old. Some suggest that it coincides with the time of the flood in the Bible, 
but some say that the wood is too young. To this day, the wooden materials found on Mount Ararat are still the subject of debate, with many wondering whether it really is the remains of the Ark. What do you think? Number 12. The Mysterious Nazca Lines of Peru If you fly over the vast region of the Rio Grande de Nazca River Basin, you'll notice strange lines on the ground that form different symbols. These are the most intriguing features on the Earth, the Nazca Lines of Peru. Despite the fact that we've been studying the line since 1926, there's still much to learn about them. In total, there are over 800 straight lines etched on the ground, 300 geometric figures, and about 70 designs of animals and plants. Some of them are only several feet big, while some range from 50 to a staggering 1,200 feet in length. So what exactly are these lines? They are known as geoglyphs, which are drawings or negatives on the ground. Many of them have been observed across the globe, and some have even been made recently. However, the Nazca lines are perhaps the most intriguing. Because of their sheer number and size, many believe that the group who created the lines is somehow tied to aliens who possessed aircraft to easily draw lines on the ground. The designs on Nazca have stayed largely intact for the last 500 to 2,000 years, and we keep discovering more about them day by day. Some believe that the Nazca lines were created by an ancient group of people who lived in the region. Their main purpose is unknown, but it's generally believed that they were made as a place for rituals or a site to pray to the gods for a great harvest or rain. There are a lot of interesting theories surrounding the Nazca lines, but it might take us several more years before we can fully uncover the secrets hidden by those geoglyphs. Number 11. Ancient Ruins with Advanced Stonemasonry Puma Punku, or the Gate of the Puma, is a T-shaped terrace made in the 6th century. It's located on the mountains of the Andes, and people visit the site in hopes of uncovering some of its secrets. It's best known for its massive stones that were cut with extraordinary precision. They're also fitted in each other so perfectly that not even a thin blade would be able to pass in between. Because of how precise and advanced the stones look, many believe that whoever built these structures received help from another race that was far superior at stonemasonry than ancient humans. Number 10. The Strange Deer Stones in Mongolia These are the Strange Deer Stones in Mongolia. They're nothing but a bunch of antique stones standing in the middle of the grassy landscape. I know, you're probably thinking that there's nothing intriguing about these stones, but that's quite the opposite. The 400-hectare complex of the deer stones is located south of Ushig Mountain. On the site are 30 deer stones and large slab burials. Some of the stones date back from around 1200 BC, making the dolmens come from between the Bronze and the Iron Age. Now, you're probably wondering why they're called deer stones. The answer is actually quite simple. It's because the stones contain engravings of deer. Some of them have incredibly long horns, while some of the four-legged animals seem to be heading toward the sky. No one knows the origin of these mysterious dolmens, but many believe the strange deer engravings on the stones depict the passage from life to death. Why use a deer instead of human figures? Well, that's just one of the unanswered questions surrounding these Mongol stones. Number 9. The Strange Chambers of House of Lini. The Hypogeum of House of Lini is a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in Malta. It is the single known prehistoric underground temple in the world, and it's also one of the few that resonates at 111 Hertz, also known as the Holy Frequency. The House of Lini Hypogeum was created by an ancient civilization about 3,500 years ago. It's already quite astounding that a group of people managed to create a subterranean temple at the time, but it's incredibly unbelievable that they built the entire structure with astounding acoustics. The entire structure of House of Lini is amazing to explore. But what caught the attention of many is the oracle chamber. Any sound created inside it will be amplified and heard almost throughout the entire structure. Archaeologists believe that thousands of years ago, the chamber was used by priests or oracles to amplify and deliver their prophecies throughout the entire complex. No one knows whether the ancient civilization who built the hypogeum intentionally built the infrastructure to create the sound chamber, or if the acoustics were accidentally made. What's more, the frequency of 111 Hz at which the cave allegedly resonates is known as the divine frequency that relaxes the mind, helping a person to rejuvenate and to feel more deeply. The concept of the divine frequency has only been recently proposed, but many seem to think that whoever built the hypogeum is extremely knowledgeable in this aspect. Now the question remains, who are they? And how did they know about the acoustics? Number 8. A Mystery Far More Enduring Than Stonehenge 
If you're into ancient mysteries, you should have already encountered the mysteries of Stonehenge. Throughout the years, it has become one of the most popular and intriguing archaeological sites on Earth, and it's quite impossible for one not to know about it. It's believed to have been built in the late Neolithic period about 5,000 years ago. Before, it was known as the oldest site discovered. But as it turns out, one structure in Turkey is much older than Stonehenge. This is the Gobekli Tepe, located on a Turkish mountaintop. This site, with more than 20 circular stone enclosures, allegedly predates Stonehenge by more than 6,000 years. Unlike the prehistoric monument in England, Gobekli Tepe is a structure that is 11,000 years old, making it the oldest man-made structure on the planet. You see, no one knows who built it and how they managed to carry all the huge boulders and arrange it. What's more, we've only excavated about 5% of the site, and archaeologists think that there are at least 20 different sets of circles still hidden in the sands. It also appears that for more than 6,000 years, our ancestors built a monument in the location of Gobekli Tepe only to tear it down again and reconstruct it later. Number 7. The Strange Kotsky Pillar Georgia is a beautiful country filled with a lot of historical, architectural, and archaeological wonders. However, what's most astounding is the mysterious Kotsky Pillar. This strange and seemingly otherworldly pillar has been the subject of wonder for years. The Kotsky Pillar is a large chunk of limestone jutting out of the forested landscape. It looks incredibly out of place, especially the small church ruins on top. Now, you're probably wondering why this limestone pillar is standing in the middle of nowhere and why someone had the crazy idea of building a church on top of it. Well, no one really knows. The limestone pillar is about 130 feet tall, and it's incredibly hard to reach. No one knows why that is, though. Some people claim that it's built in such a treacherous location so that invaders wouldn't be able to reach it in the first place. But no one knows if this really is the reason. Some claim that the monks wanted to build a structure closer to God. But don't we all know what happens the closer we try to get to heaven? Number 6. The Prehistoric Monument in Ireland this is the New Grange, located in County Meath in Ireland. It is a Grand Passage tomb built during the Neolithic period around 3200 BC, which means it was built long before Stonehenge and the Pyramids of Egypt. Inside this chamber, archaeologists made all sorts of macabre discoveries, from burnt and unburnt human bones, grave goods and offerings, to mysterious artifacts. Aside from serving as a chamber, the mound is also enclosed by a stone circle, some believe that it serves as a place for rituals as well, but no one knows much about its purpose. However, one of the most astounding features of the monument is that during the sunrise of the winter solstice, the entire chamber inside the mound is always illuminated. It's an incredible phenomena that to this day, admission to the New Grange Chamber to witness the winter solstice sunrise can only be won by lottery. Number 5. The Bighorn Medicine Wheel Just take a look at this. If you were to guess what this massive pattern on the ground is for, what would you say? This is an aerial view of the Bighorn Medicine Wheel, and it's one of the most curious old structures in the United States. The Bighorn Medicine Wheel is located in Lovell, Wyoming, where it lies nearly 10,000 feet above the Bighorn Range. It is covered by heavy snow for most of the year because of its location, but in the summer, the stone pattern reveals itself. Hundreds of stones make up the wheel, which measures 80 feet across with 28 spokes. It's said that the medicine wheel was built by Native Americans and was used by them for centuries. However, no one knows who exactly built them and for what purpose. Why would anyone exert the effort of collecting hundreds to thousands of stones, intricately and carefully arrange them in such a strange pattern? Is it just for the aesthetics? Sure, that might be a thing today, but hundreds of years ago? Not really. Some archaeologists claim that the medicine wheel was used as a place of ritual or of worship, while some claim that it served an astronomical purpose and has been passed over to New Age spiritualists, Wiccans, and pagans over time. Number 4. The Mysterious Himalayan Towers Amongst the amazing landscape in the mountains of Sichuan and Tibet lies magnificent structures that stand over a hundred feet. These are the mysterious Himalayan towers that have stumped experts for centuries. No one knows who built these towers, or why. Only four of the towers survive today, but according to the villagers living nearby, there used to be more of these magnificent architectural wonders. Just imagine hundreds or even thousands of years ago, a group of people managed to build a tower that juts a hundred feet into the sky. What was their motive? And why did they think that these towers were necessary? 
Much of what happened in ancient China has been written in countless records, and yet not a single one about the Himalayan towers exists today. It might be because of the location of the towers in the first place. Tibet was a remote and difficult place to reach. Only caravans transporting salt, sugar, and tea dared to venture on its harrowing path. It's no wonder that much of what happened in the area has remained largely undocumented. And so to this day, the amazing towers of the Himalayas remain to be an enigma. Number 3. The Berkeley Mystery Walls In Fremont, California are the remnants of ancient stone walls. These are the East Bay Mystery Walls, and no one knows who built them or why. In fact, no one even knows exactly how old they are. It's estimated that the walls have been in this area for over a hundred years. They're constructed out of boulders of varying sizes with some portions up to five feet tall. They serve no known purpose at all. It's too short to be an enclosure or a barrier to protect something. The Spanish settlers in the area claimed that they had no knowledge about the walls and that it was already there when they arrived, and the local Ohlone American Indians were also clueless about the wall. Over the past few years, some experts have tried to explain the meaning of these walls. Some claim that it's of prehistoric origin, while some claim that ancient walls were left behind by ancient settlers. To this day, speculations about the real purpose of the mystery walls of the East Bay are still debated. Number 2. The Great Serpent Mound If you live in Ohio, there's a chance that you know everything there is to know about the Great Serpent Mound. This 1,348-foot-long effigy is a Native American structure excavated several times since the late 1800s. It is one of the largest surviving effigy mounds in the world, and yet little is known about it. If you look at it from an aerial view, the serpent mound looks like a, well, a serpent buried beneath the ground. No one knows why it was built in the first place or who built this massive effigy. Its meaning is also debated by many experts. For example, no one knows what the entire thing signifies, and no one knows what the oval-shaped head of the serpent means. Some say that the circle on the head of the serpent depicts an enlarged eye, while some think it's a hollow egg. In case you're curious yourself, the Serpent Mound is located on a plateau overlooking Ohio Brush Creek in Adams County. Who knows? You might discover something strange if you visit. Number 1. Shell Grotto That Appeared Out of Nowhere This is the Shell Grotto located in Margate, Kent. This entire structure located underground is about 2,000 square feet, and the entire place is covered with intricate mosaics made out of 4.6 million shells. It was discovered by a farmer named James Newlove and his son Joshua while digging a duck pond in 1835. When the two saw the opening in the ground, they thought that they merely discovered an empty underground cavern, and neither expected to see the magnificent collection of shells inside. Since then, the Margate Shell Grotto has become one of Kent, England's most prized treasures. But despite being visited by people for over a century, no one knows anything about the Shell Grotto. No one really knows who built it or why they did it in the first place. Some theorize that the Shell Grotto was built as an astronomical calendar, a place of witchcraft, a chamber of worship, or a secret hiding place of the Knights Templar or Freemasonry. To this day, we still don't know the person or group behind the creation of this grotto. Most of the shells used to build the mosaics inside the chamber, mussels, cockles, limpets, and oysters are all found locally. But the most abundant shell in the entire collection, which is a flat winkle, can only be collected on the shores west of Southampton. Some people think that perhaps the shell grotto was built by an ancient civilization that is yet to be discovered, but some people think otherwise. Some people think that it was created by a wealthy noble who wished to have a decorative chamber that he could flaunt to strengthen his power and status. I don't know why they thought building a shell cave would increase their influence, but it somehow worked. The Margate Shell Grotto is still talked about to this day, and many are still captivated not only by its beauty, but also its mystery. There are really a lot of intriguing structures in the world, but which one of these do you think is the most puzzling? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.